Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the re-release of the AMT American La France Aero Chief Fire Truck in 125th scale. This kit's been around for a few years and it's seen multiple releases, but it's still readily available at online markets and on larger hobby shops shelves. Now, it's, it can be seen in configurations such as the Ladder Chief, and many of the parts are also found in a pumper kit. Now, this is a skill level 3, which is uh, for the advanced builder, and it has over 300 pieces molded in white, chrome, clear, clear red, clear yellow, vinyl, and some metal axles. Now, the decals are water slide type, and they cover multiple departments, and some blank numbering so that you can create your own. The stripes are also included for decoration, and the instructions are pretty well defined in a book format. It's a huge build when finished at over 23 inches long, 4.5 inches wide, and 5.5 inches tall, unless you extend the boom, which can go up to 3 feet tall. This is a very large kit, and here's some of the sprues uh, in the light gray and the tires. Now, as we're going along, we'll be using uh, mostly Model Master liquid cement, sometimes super glue, and for uh, things like windows and, and clear parts, uh, a white glue. Now, please follow the manufacturer's safety and use suggestions when using any of the products that you see or hear used uh, in the review. Here are the decals, and as you can see, they're very functional with uh, a number of different um, just alphabetical and numerical decals available for creating your own departments, and uh, also some stripes, which you may want to consider using some of the uh, aftermarket setting solutions on to make sure that they conform to any of the contours on the body. This build starts with uh, parts for the motor, uh, including some of the chromed parts, and go ahead and stage these pieces, and then we'll begin assembly soon. And you can uh, uh, note the colors on the assembly guide, and most of the motor can be assembled prior to painting it, and then uh, put it together as much of it as you can, and then paint the whole block and unit. And then I sprayed uh, it red, and then I painted the rest of the parts flat black or silver, as noted in the assembly or a guide, or you can see them uh, here pretty, pretty plainly. Find the parts uh, for the wheel assemblies, as you can see them here. Uh, and then we're going to assemble the front rims completely. So assemble the rear rims completely as well. And both the front and the rear duals. Now paint them all red uh, with the lugs highlighted in silver uh, with a silver pin. And install the tires after you add the chrome caps to the rear. Then, And then uh, note that the frame now will be assembled into in steps and then painted as a whole when completed. So assemble the frame rails with its cross members and note that each spot has a specific locator tab on the frame and they're marked uh, and pretty easily visible so there shouldn't be any confusion there uh, but they go together pretty well and uh, use some um, super glue on some of the frame parts there to make sure you get a good solid frame. So go ahead and locate the suspension parts here um, for the front axle along with the brakes and the boosters and then assemble the front suspension to the frame uh, and as you can see here um, it's all without paint so that you get a good solid bond. And now we'll do the same thing with the uh, rear suspension pieces uh, so build the rear axle uh, with these pieces and then add the suspension to the frame and assemble the brake boosters for that. So now gather the uh, the uh, attendance uh, pieces for the frame, uh, you know, the radiator and the tanks, etc. And then uh, first add the side supports, uh, assemble the radiator and add that in place, and then uh, assemble the tanks and add those. Now install the drivetrain and all of the air tanks. So now that we have the base frame built with uh, radiator tanks, etc., and suspensions, uh, we're not going to put into place the, uh, the power takeoff shaft, the exhaust pipes, the air pipe, and the radiator hoses yet. So paint the chassis, the PTO shaft, and the radiator hoses flat black. And then the exhaust pipes and the air pipe are silver, and install the motor, and finish installing all the other parts. 
So uh, gather up the wheel assemblies that you put together earlier and now uh, go ahead and install the front tires onto the axle spindles there and the rear tires uh, then will be uh, installed using the metal axle uh, through the uh, rear suspension pumpkin back there. So here is what your um, rolling chassis will look like at this point including the uh, wheel caps and the engine installed with the hoses and the radiator uh, everything uh, is uh, basically ready to go for the rest of your build. Now you can gather these parts and we'll install the seats so assemble the steering wheel and paint the interior flat black then add the uh, pedals and the shifter has a flat black boot and a knob that uh, is painted and then after that's dry installed in the floor. Get out the parts you see here for the dash and the steering and we're going to uh, paint those black uh, along with the interior and note that the uh, the gauges on the instrument panel there have a pretty uh, interesting etching. You can uh, you can just dry brush those or if you want to go out and get some detailing you could uh, add some gauges there from your parts box or even print some out that you find on the internet. Uh, but also note that there's some, a lot of silver buttons there that can be highlighted with your, your silver pen or, or even uh, a silver paint uh, to give it a little definition for the uh, dash and layout. And now it's time to uh, start working on the body. Uh, so grab these pieces, um, you know, the body cab, and then fender wells, etc. Uh, and then uh, we'll be installing the fenders onto the cab. Uh, take your time, make sure that they fit closely to where they're supposed to go. And then the frame gets added to the rear seat panel. Now on my sample there were some very heavy um, mold lines there, some parting lines. And you'll need to uh, scrape those down and smooth them out with some uh, varying degrees of fine sandpaper to give the uh, model a, a nice look. Um, it's going to be a little extra work but um, it's per pretty nice uh, subject matter so don't overlook that to get a good looking model. You've addressed the mold lines and, and given the uh, body a, a nice overall um, you know scuffing uh, then give it uh, some paint to uh, paint it with uh, a good quality primer inside and out of the parts. Once the primer is dry, uh, go ahead and give your uh, body parts here, including the interior of the back seat panel, uh, a good coat of uh, uh, fire engine red. Uh, start with a couple of mist coats and then add a couple medium coats to get a good depth of color. Now we'll add those decals. Use plenty of warm water to position them. And uh, some of the um, longer uh, stripes may benefit once again from that uh, setting solution so you may want to consider that uh, and then uh, let them cure overnight and apply a clear coat to the body to seal them into place. Retrieve these pieces from the kit uh, including the rear window and then we're going to add the rear window to the seat panel in back there and then the rear seats are flat black and they are added as well. Now the front bumper and the steps can be uh, uh, glued to the uh, cab. The cab is starting to take shape and now we're going to add the, uh, the clear windows to the uh, cab and use some white glue or some of the crystal clear glue uh, that's available to uh, put those into place and then add the interior um, making sure that you remove paint uh, so that uh, the plastic will bond to itself. Uh, it won't stick to paint or uh, chrome so make sure that there's always a bare spot for when you're going to glue those uh, to join pieces together. Now here's uh, the point where patience is going to be mandatory is these are many of these are very small parts uh, and I would use uh, just a minimal amount of super glue to glue these into position. So go ahead and get these parts out gather them up and then add all of the chrome parts to the cab. Uh, remember scrape the chrome before you try and glue it and then the headlights, the blinkers, the grab bars, mirrors, spotlights, beacons, horns, bell, siren, and the door handles all go into place now. And then all the chrome parts are added and installed at this point. Now we're going to start the body deck and um, 
for extra detailing, I'm, I'm showing the instruction sheet here for location and position of the different panels, etc. Um, so once again, you'll need some patience here. Then start the body deck build and paint the side panels red and, and the deck and the bottoms are chrome. And then uh, add the decals to the doors and assemble the deck unit uh, as shown. Grab the uh, outriggers and the commensurate pieces as you see here and we're going to put that together so paint the cabinet parts red and the outriggers silver color and then assemble the unit. Now add the decals and install the whole unit onto the deck. Now I went back at this point uh, and then used some clear coat to paint those uh, sides etc to seal in the decals etc. So you can get these parts out of the kit, um, the chrome plate etc and um, we're going to assemble the um, or paint the re rear panels there and the boom rest uh, fire engine red. Once dry and then assemble the ladder platform and install the uprights for the ladders and the side panels. And then assemble uh, the complete rear panel and detail paint that uh, with your silver highlighter and maybe some black for some of the controllers. And then add a custom license plate if you want one or a plate from the uh, decals. Now I just printed out my logo like a license plate on a uh, inkjet printer, covered it up with some cellophane tape on both sides and glued it into place. Um, now install the rear panel uh, to the deck. So gather up all the laddering. Um, the uh, pike poles and the axes and then detail paint those of course uh, wooden poles and uh, axe handles and um, you know uh, blackened uh, implement ends uh, except for the pike poles have uh, steel uh, ends and uh, of course the ladders are an aluminum color. Now go ahead and add the uh, poles uh, axes and ladders to the uh, to the truck uh, as you see uh, some of that here and in the illustrations on the cover art Gather these pieces up to assemble the carriage um, and the unit can be completely assembled prior to painting. Just tape off the piston rod um, and then paint the unit white. Add the control panel and then uh, set this aside uh, for later assembly as a module. So round up these pieces, the panels and uh, the brackets etc. Uh, and these will be used uh, to assemble the platform. and. Uh, we're going to put that together, so uh, add the deck gun, the spotlight, and the control handle after you paint the uh, platforms white. And then the boom units are assembled uh, prior to painting also. And again, just uh, tape off the chrome piston and uh, don't add the beacon yet. Uh, and then paint the units white. Uh, after that it's dried, you can add the beacon to the bottom end of the top boom. Grab the parts that you see here and we'll finish up the, uh, the snorkel. And then paint the water lines white as well as the remaining pieces. Now assemble the lower and the upper boom with the water line pin first. Then add the assembled cylinder pivots into place with some super glue. Now the lower end of the bottom boom can be assembled with some super glue. And then the water line and the piston can be added to that. Now mount the uh, platform into place, add the gears and the water line, and assemble it completely with the uh, platform water line. I'll do some dry fitting here and then uh, locate uh, the points where your glue is going to make contact uh, for the chassis to the deck. And then uh, remove any paint that you need to uh, prior to adding the glue there. And then go ahead and assemble the chassis into the deck and align everything into place. Make sure it's all uh, squared up. And then slide the chassis flush. And it should use only, you know, just a touch of super glue here and there, wherever your contact points are, to hold it into position. Now we'll, we're going to carefully add the cab into place, connecting the frame of the cab and deck and aligning everything to sit flush. Uh, just be sure you don't knock off the pieces from the cab that you've already installed. Install the, uh, the completed boom by sliding it into the hole in the deck and then let the boom rest in the boom rest on the front of the deck. Well, there you have it. Your truck is complete and it's a magnificent piece to display on your shelves. Uh, 
if you're into uh, emergency equipment or fire trucks in general, this is a great model to assemble. Uh, and it lends itself to excellent extra detailing as well because of its large size. Now there will be some pieces left over uh, and you can see those here as some of the pieces are common to some of the other kits. Now this kit can seem daunting uh, at first because uh, with over 300 pieces uh, it is a significantly large build and it's going to take you some time. Uh, you'll need to be patient and there's some mold lines that will have to be cleaned and some flash. Um, the fit is not uh, perfect uh, but everything will go together well uh, if you just trim it up and don't forget uh, that you can use some of the mock build uh, prior to glue to make sure that it uh, fits in uh, by the time you're done with it uh, adjustments here and there uh, it'll look great it is an impressive looking model overall it's not really that difficult um, I would say three is right uh, for the intermediate or the intermediate to the, the advanced builder because uh, just of the sheer size uh, the fit wasn't that bad for its age uh, and it's just taking a long time to build uh, you'll have to be patient with all the chrome that you'll have to also you know scrape off to attach uh, overall no big problems with this kit uh, it went together fairly well and it looks great on the shelf so if I were you I'd buy one and put it on my shelf well we hope you like this step-by-step -step premium model kit review and so that you don't miss any more please subscribe to our YouTube channel but you can find us on Facebook and at our website right on replicas.com thanks